how to plaster a room in a day. I've sort of done this previous, but it felt a wee bit lazy. I know a lot of you did like it, but I want to go into a wee bit more detail. I think um, you all deserve that. I've been working very, very hard recently, so making videos has been very tough for me. But this is the room to be done, as you can see. Preparation to be done. Ceiling and all the walls. This was the previous video on how to plaster a room in a day, but let's jump into this particular one. I have a lot more clips to go through. First things first, you're going to have to have your PVA in done, and it's showing you grit because obviously grit's not actually an option for this one, as grit will not help you do it in a day, unfortunately. So if you want to do it in a day, it's got to be PVA. Besides, I've never had half the problems with PVA than I have with grit. And I've done hundreds, hundreds more jobs with PVA than I have with grit. So PVA to me is superior. So two things. If you've got help, use help. It will help you. Um, especially even if it's somebody just to mix, help you PVA, help you get prepared. And secondly, if you're not actually a plasterer, you might not want to even be trying to do this in a day. It is basically a ceiling and four or five walls, depending on the shape of the room. This is quite a large room here. That being said, I'm going to give you loads of tips, tricks, advice, and tools that will help speed up your processes, and tools I recommend, and some methods that will definitely give you a head start if you have a lot to do in one day or just sometimes a job just has to be done it's maybe too far to travel or it just has to be done there's a kitchen coming a uh, bit of a rush job and um, again i don't recommend rushing but sometimes things do have to be done that little bit quicker and this video is definitely going to help you out first things first and i'm gonna get the ceiling done but for that i'm gonna have to pva the ceiling and again read the PVA, whatever you're using, go by what it says for replastering, and it can be a bit confusing, so do read it a few times, make sure you understand what it is saying, and basically I'm going to want to PVA all my ceilings first here, and so the two ceilings on this room blocked by the pillar. When I have all the ceilings PVA'd, I won't waste any time, I'll fill tracks and plant beads. I'll also have PVA the corners for them and I'll be getting all that type of preparation done while I wait for my PVA on the ceiling to pick up. I waste no time at all when my ceiling is nice and sticky. Even before then I'll be having waters filling up before I mix but you know when you get your ceiling and it's nice and sticky ready to go now is the time to get your mix on. Again I have all these videos, all these clips are all videos on the channel. So you should really be at the stage now where you're trailing up your ceiling. You have your beads and all your preparation done. Like I do here, you can see all the beads are fitted and ceilings are on. I'm actually just really finishing them, so it's just really concentrating on trailing them up. You'll notice I have both ceilings on and the sort of bulkhead of the beam is on as well. So everything that I can reach off the stilts. Usually I would try and put on the two heads if my beads are stiff enough but again I'm a bit too high so I'll not be able to see them so that may be better left when you're doing the actual wall and you're working at that area so you're not wasting time going back and forward. So another thing then getting into the tool side of things I find stilts are a godsend when it comes to ceilings. You don't have to kick about a hop up or plank the whole place out. And always do the ceilings first as you will only drip your clean walls if you do them first. And the methods I like is walking the ceiling. You'll see me sort of do big long strides right across the whole ceiling. I find that speeds me up and also using a spatula. And again, another thing, if you want to slow things down, a sponge float can help slow it 
slightly and also help you get out of some uneven areas that a little bit easier. Again, in between trailing up the ceiling, when the ceiling's instead of me waiting for the ceiling to pick up so I can hit it with my super flex trail, I'll go ahead and PVA my opposite walls or the walls that I choose to do. In this case, I'll probably do a lot of wide angles as I find you, you do less walking that way instead of running back and forward of the whole room. You can kind of take out two or three walls that are all touching each other and you get a nice wee loop system trailing up. You'll see here that I'm using a spatula and again spatulas can really speed up your quick first flatten in. I also use it to help straighten out the angles which is really helpful, very beneficial. And you'll see here that I have two walls on, the one in front of me and one to my right. I actually have a few more on, I basically split the whole room on, up in half by just constantly going around on that side of the room, leaving the wall behind me and the window wall for the end. And the reason being, I just like I said there, I think the wee loop system can speed things up. Also, wide angles, I think using a wide angle trail can also speed you up. You can really see how tools and technique and method really go a long way. I would also say a good thing to do as well is really when you get in have a quick look around really pin what your plan get get very decisive very quickly don't don't be change your mind too often get in get a quick look around decide right ceilings this wall that wall this preparation these beads these beads with the ceilings you really need to be very quickly decisive and it will definitely speed you up along the way no doubt and again just shows you what tools can really speed you up a small trial above the door frame again you can make these out of your old trials i have a video showing you how to do that also and i'll try and get all these videos in the description or if you just want to know search up at the channel or ask me and i'll try and point you in the right direction or give you the links but you know having them trials at the ready and the likes of that that hammer axe bag i have having all the tools that you might need in from from the first minute of the job really does help and you can see why i do use them typically i'd cover up the door so again that'll speed you up as well guys getting this all done in a day so your clean up is easier as you know i did the ceiling then that wall wide angle that wall and this beam across around the top of the door and also that wall which i now have on this back wall here as you can see still lines in from being child and the big long window wall with whatever reveals and stuff i couldn't get in previous hits sometimes you're better off just leaving the reveals let them go guys because you're going to be traveling up at that wall all the same and we gotta get down tight around those pipes also don't forget this wee bit is on as well on the other side of the, the the beam there so really it's trailing up now and cleaning up in between trowels and it's not too dirty thankfully um so that really is your main concern now is getting finished and cleaned trying to do both at the same time to get yourself out the door quickly as you want to do it in a day um, again if you cover that up there'll be less less washing but some washing to do and sockets to be cut but i'll be leaving these as they're all some of them are live taped up so i don't i don't risk cutting anything that i think's live at all and again some tools are very helpful guys so doing a large room like this is no easy task this has taken about near 10 bags of skim and a bag of bonding to complete and god knows many beads stuck there as well so if you are trying it definitely make sure you're you're well rested the day before and possibly have help as quite a bit of an area so you don't want to be killing yourself you'll be fit for nothing the rest of the week or the weekend depending on what day it is pretty sure i covered all the methods and the way i go about doing a full room in a day 
again if it didn't or you, you want me to clarify anything definitely hit me up in the comments so just a quick one on the tools i think will help you speed you up make your life that bit easier and one is a cordless mixing drill um, as it's light it's easy in and out um, there's no wires there's so many positives to it as long as you've got the batteries and the charge the thing should easily do you a room a day not a problem a sponge float again i didn't use it on that particular job but they can really pull you out of a hole and slow down your setting and help you get it flatter quicker um, and of course the angle shell if you're going to do some wet angles or soft angles this will really speed you up and um, this wee one's the refinable and again you don't have to do it that way you can break it up differently but i find they will speed you up and again a spatula you'll be able to flatten large areas in with it get angles straight and um, get a rest of the stilts which will be the next tool that i'm going to talk about but yeah so this one's a tyzak spatula spear jackson eclipse sort of any one of them names you'll find this spatula it's got a changeable blade but i truly do think they can speed you up you can flatten in the whole area very quickly same as a speed skim and also like i say you can straighten things out with them so it doubles up as a, a trialing in and a straightening and um, some small tools small trials great for getting above the door frames up the sides of door frames just awkward areas and on that picture i did show you previous there was actually old trials that rivets had went so you can cut them up to whatever sizes you want guys basically i know i mentioned it earlier but yes again stilts i find them very very valuable Again, you can do it without but if you're wanting speed these these are the way to go quick setup same as the battery powered mixer it's quick and simple last but not least a uh, super flex trial this one i'm using on this particular ceiling is refina super flex 3 a little bit stiffer than all the rest so i find it would be the best for most beginners people learning and again it's not a must but especially when you're coming to your last trial so when your arms are going to be at their weakest their tiredest and this thing although this one's stiffer it still takes a bit more pressure off the elbow the wrist the hand the shoulder the body it just give you that wee bit more energy guys and again if you're trying to do large areas in a day or just in general large areas taking that wee bit of strain off will will be very much beneficial and will keep you keep you a bit fresher for the next setting the next hit so again there's a couple other things that i haven't mentioned obviously big buckets um a board and stand can help um or a trolley if you want to move about your plaster a trolley can help and um, just just sort of good preparation and you know what'll help the most will be help um another plaster or just a labor or both again plaster not not really a one-man game i know a lot of people do do it on their own but i'm sure they do feel it some days when they're even running out of the van i think i've mentioned everything again like i say if i missed anything you thought is really good let me know and i'll I'll let you know my thoughts on that. Again, I know there's going to be lots of you can do 10 times the plaster work that the rest of us can, but you know, everybody's at different levels and we'll have to respect that. And obviously, this video isn't for the elite. And if the elite are watching us, I respect you all. So keep it coming, guys, and I hope you enjoy this video.
Daddy's Math Classroom.